I am the vine. You are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me, you cannot, you can, <coughs> oh, excuse me. For without me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is cast out of the branch and is withered. And they gather them and throw them in the fire and they are burned. And this is what the Lord talking about the three Hebrew boys. Because they don't have faith. Your faith went away. Your trust and works in the Lord. Everything will fade away. He said that's why you, you, they were with away. And he gathered them and threw them into the fire and they burned. That's why all this stuff going on. That's why we got to stay in the light. That's why people going to be, it's going to be so much going on. People, and, and we're in the furniture for the being that off. Uh, fiery furnace. Some people already in. It's coming. Just because it's not on your door, it's heading your way. And the Lord allowed things, you can see things to, to get you prepared because he said preparation for the nation. Then you know it's coming your way. People didn't think that lockdown was going to happen but started, went off on other people that came that you came your way with that sickness. Didn't think it was going to come your way. Preparation. Okay, then uh, that's what he gave out the three Hebrew boys. If you abide in me and my word abide in my words, abide in you, you will you will ask what you desire, and it shall be done for you. That's what the Lord said. You you pray and ask Him, cause you have faith, and you know what? Well, everything comes from our Father in heaven. Who is the kingdom? Our king, the Father kingdom, our kingdom. Who is heaven? Everything comes from the Father and the Son of Jesus Christ. Your power, your anointing. But you have to have faith. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. And lean not into your own understanding. Lean not into your own understanding on how you're going to get things. How it's going to come to you. How you're going to get taken care of. Do not lean into your own understanding. Trust and have faith in the Lord. By this my Father is glorified that you bear much fruit. So you will, you will be my disciples. And the fruits of the Spirit, too. That's why the Lord said it right in. I'm still telling y'all. I'm going to keep on saying this over and over again. <coughs> what the Lord tell me about the mark of the beast, the forehead, and your right hand, your authorities. And what Jesus Christ said in the right hand in this Father, the right hand is important. You know, and what Satan want to take away, your whole wipe your all everything away from Christ from you. He's trying to do it over the whole world, but also you as a church. Your building. He already got them in the church houses in the building doing this. Not all of them. And some in the church houses. And the Lord shut them down when the sickness came. And the gay people sit down to get retaught and to uh, self examine themselves. But some people didn't. They went all back out there. He done put everybody on lockdown out of Egypt. Give them time to think about it before the storm really was coming. And people still went out there. Now what God said, people ain't learning. Some still complaining. Okay, then let's go. Um, as the Father loved me, I also have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love. Just as I had kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. Well, just say I had to do it for my Father. We have to have faith and trust and believe in the Father. I had to do this. He said I had to do this too. In order to live right, I had to walk by the Lord's law and commandments in order for all these works and powers and miracles and raised from the dead. All this had to come. I had to do this too to get this. But that's what people want to do. They want Everybody ain't walking with the Spirit of the Lord. And he granted us when he gave us the Holy Spirit when Jesus Christ died. And that's the love. And the joy we have. That's what God said. He counted our joy. Because we're blessed to receive this. That he, this man died for our sins. The, the Most High gave this man this, 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 thing, this spirit. Gave us the spirit. Say it on the name of you. And gave us the Holy Spirit. Let this man sacrifice himself. Gave us the Holy Spirit. We're blessed. That man loved us enough. Our Father first he loved us before we loved him. Most High loved us first before we loved him. Gave us his son, Jesus Christ, the helper, the saver. He was helping and saving them then. And then now, they killed him. 
And then he's still helping and saving us now, the Holy Spirit. And we're trying to help and save other people through the Holy Spirit, the Jesus Christ residing in us. And guess what they're going to do to you? Same thing they did to Jesus Christ. <coughs> they don't want to be, people don't want to be corrected. They'll kill you. They don't want you to go against their sins. That's why they, why, they killed Jesus Christ. Keep my father, okay. I have kept my father's commandment and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you that my joy may remain in you and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment that you love one another as I loved you. Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. And how you lay down your life? You give your life to Jesus Christ. Just like Jesus Christ was crucified, died for our sins. We're doing that too. We're going to get killed. That's what God said, persecuted. We're laying down our life for our friends to speak the truth. Just like Jesus Christ, you, you, you died to save people, to wake people up. To remove, to tell them about sins, to come in and introduce them to the kingdom of heaven. That's why the Lord said, Satan don't want nobody to know about the kingdom of heaven. Our king, who you are, he don't want you to know about that. Because once people know who our father is, the kingdom, where he's from, what he did for us, and his love for us, and his son Jesus Christ died for our sins inside of us, Satan will knock you off. That's why we fight all day, but it ain't, he ain't fighting about your works or nothing. What he fighting is in your faith. Because once he know you don't know who you is, then you ain't got to worry about your right hand. You ain't got to know all these things come to you. You gotta know. You ain't gonna know if you don't know who your father is and your king, the kingdom you come from, and your righteousness, and and your holiness, and, and uh, <laughs> what all added to you, and where what all this power come in from? Your power. Once you wipe the faith and your father from you, you only know how powerful you are. <coughs> you don't know how powerful you are. What all come along with you? You're right here. So he come at this. That's why I say you're fully. Y'all, so let's keep on. This is my commandments, that you love one another as I love you. Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. You are my, you are my friends. If you do whatever I command you, no longer do I call you servants. For a servant does not know what his master is doing, but I called you friends. That's why the Lord say, you are no, when you walk with me, you're no longer a servant. You're my friend, because he laid his life down for us. And so, this is why some, even when the worldly things, how some people get that all mixed up. They'll ride out with their friends if they wrong or right. I mean, uh, when they wrong. I understand riding out with your friend when they right, right, is right, wrong, wrong. But they'll ride out with their friends when they wrong. And then the innocent person get killed. The one riding out for their friend, they get killed. Involving in wrongness. It's always somebody like that. And then they'll say, oh, he sacrificed himself for them. That's why also you got to be careful with this sacrificial stuff because it's Satan. Sacrificing. <coughs> How people sacrificing their kids and everything. Selling their soul to the devil. For the wrong friend. When the Lord say, you're your friend. And you go be with the wrong friend. And what God said, be careful what company you keep. Be careful what evil, around evil counsels. What friendship, what, what company you keep. Be careful your friends you keep. That's why we can't say nothing to be trying to tell you. You be trying to tell your kids and everything. Don't be hanging around. But they got to learn on their own. Just like God protected you and take, take care of you. He protect them. Because first they was, your, they was his children before they were yours. Y'all had to learn that. Lord, these are your kids. Before, I can't. Lord, I give them to you. I trust you because you over, you able to take care of everybody. They your children before they were mine. So, also your friends, call friends for all things that I heard from my father I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I choose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, that your fruit should remain, and that whatever you ask the father in my name, he will give you. These things I commanded you, to command you that you love one another. And that's what the Lord said, your brothers, but your brothers and sisters. And he also say love your enemy. But he ain't say you don't hang out with him either. What company you keep? People riding out for folks. They call them their friends and backstab them. 
People say, we're going to turn you, ain't going to kill you, persecute you. Y'all know people be envy. Because people, God say, look at the test of the spirits. What spirit behind people? You got to be careful what company you keep. Same people going to persecute you, kill you, everything. Everybody ain't your friend. Everything that glitter ain't gold. Every shiny thing, everything that shine ain't shiny. It ain't nice. That's why I'm so with relationships. Some people sleeping with the enemy. Your own kids killing. Kids killing their own parents. Because what? Jealousy and envy. Or behind some money or something. Because of world, worldly things. Say They don't have faith in the Lord. They, they don't know the Lord. Say they don't overcome their mindset. And when God said you resist the devil and he will flee. Things come, even as we walking with the Lord, things will come your way. Satan will try to throw something in your mind. You got to rebuke it. Say I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Because he's trying to take over your mindset. Once you let him creep in, that's it. That's what God told us. Also, be careful what you let in, what you see. Or listening to, even with people giving you wrong advice or listening to folks and wrong doctrines and stuff. You got to be careful. And that's why you ask the Lord to guard your heart. You can't open your mind to everything. If it don't sound right, Lord, then hey, that's what you're supposed to be testing. What, what you talking about? Even when you go on a date with somebody, where you from? Who your people? You believe in the Lord? Ask questions. Okay, so let's just, um, he said, if the world hates you, know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world will love its own. Yet because you are not of the world, but I chose you out of the world. This is what the Lord told me again about people. You got to understand with your children, your spouse, your friends, same thing. No, tell about people. These people are of the world. I chose you. You are not of the world. But these people of the world saying you're not going to receive what you're saying. If the world hates you, so your, your, your children going to hate you for telling the truth. Family, friends, you speaking truth. Everybody, you speak the truth of the Lord. They're going to hate you. He said, if the world hates you, why do they hate you? Because they into worldly things. You know that I hate it. Uh, he said, if the world hates you, you know that it hated me because I hate it. Be, I mean, if the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love its own. That's why, we, that's why when the Lord take us out of worldly things, when people was of the world, we was once of the world. You can go around, hang around, and gossip, drink, smoke. You used to do that. But the Lord called you out of the world. So they ain't going to receive you. That's why you feel uncomfortable around them. Even the Lord go you to go speak the word of the Lord, they don't receive it. Because the Lord chose you because you listened to the Lord and he pulled you out of it. You seek him and you shall be found. Seek him and you shall be found. So the Lord said, hey, he done brought you out of it. So understand that you can't go to these people that's still in the world and talk. No wonder they can't hear from you. Your children, everybody. He said the world would love its own. Yet because you are not of the world, but I choose you out of the world. Therefore the world hates you. Remember the word that I said to you. A servant is not greater than his master. If they persecute me, persecuted me, then they will also persecute you. If they keep my word, they will keep you also. So they're not going to keep you. That's why I said when I was on trying to hold on to that squirrel, I could keep that squirrel. That squirrel couldn't keep me because we don't have nothing in common. So he was running from the word of the Lord. The squirrel was running from me. Because it, it didn't want to hear what the, the world, it wanted the world. I had to let that squirrel, when I had that dream, I had to let that squirrel go into the world. Because it was used to the worldly things, the environment. And I'm holding it, trying to save it with, word, with the word of the Lord. Come to this side. That's how we do our kids. Or we try to do our family member, nieces, nephew, or everybody we know, we're family, friends, we love. We try to, come on, come to this side, come to this side. And they, they can't receive what we said because their mind is of the world. Satan will wipe them off. They're more into worldly things than what they into. So I had to let the squirrel go because I couldn't keep the squirrel and the squirrel couldn't keep me because we, we, we're not equally yoked. We're not like-minded. I had to let the squirrel go into the world. Try to hold on to the squirrel. And that dream, y'all. So just know you can't hold on to things. If you hold on to something, it's going to be tug of war. You find
fighting, they fighting. You fighting, they fighting. And you're going to be struggling all day. That's what God said. When I send you in, to somebody else and you give them the word of the Lord, if they reject you, they reject me. Dust the dust off your feet. Because you'll be tell, you'll be wore out with one person. And that's what Satan want to do. What do he do? Hold you back on your time. Time will be flying by and you could be doing so much more in life or you wasting your time in this one relationship for 15 years. The Lord of men told you to leave that relationship alone. Satan will waste 15 years of your life that you couldn't go on to what God had for you. Because you didn't have faith in the Lord. You put your trust in that man and that woman and then and let and then listen to the word of the Lord and have faith in the Lord that he let this go. But listen to evil counsels. Oh, you better hold on to that man. Or, or, or. You know how they do that witchcraft stuff them back in the days, Paris, you tell <coughs> People just tell you, God, put it on him. Do this. Some people even, uh, uh, I've seen some girl talking about on a uh, TikTok, bear the man draws. Outside the door, talking about you want to know how to keep him. I said, Lord, Emma, they doing witchcraft. Young girl. Listen to evil counsels. Hold on to something that God ain't even got for you and is wasting your time. Same way we holding on to stuff. Where you out, Satan whooping you in the process, trying to save your children, your family, and you give them to God. Because you got to have faith in the Lord that he'll take care of them. He'll take care of you. Have faith in the Lord, period, over everything. And then what Satan do, waste your time. If you if you waste your time on certain, you can't even get to the promises of what God got for you. Can't fulfill your destiny. He'll hold you back on time. Try to hold people back. You got to let some things go. Let God work in your life and he'll work in their life too. That's what God said. When we leave, you got to work on your own salvation. Work it in fear and in trembling. You got to work on your own self. You got to work on your own salvation. With fear and trembling. We just have to pray for people, y'all. Okay, so... um. So he told us that they persecute him. And look what the Lord told me. He said, I will also, if they per, if they persecuted me, they will also persecute, persecute you. If they kept my word, they will keep yours also. But all these things they will do to you for my name's sake, because they do not know him who sent me. If he had not come and spoken to me, they would have, if, if I had not come and spoken to them, they would have no sin. But now they have no excuses for their sin. <clears throat> so the Lord said, I came to you. I spoke a word to you. I, he gave us to give word to people. He corrected them. Jesus Christ died for our sins. The Holy Spirit in us. You tell your kids, your family members, everybody else of the world about the sins of the Lord. They know it's true. But they reject him. So he said right here, they have no excuses for their sins. That means now... You know what you're doing is wrong because the Lord already done corrected you. The Bible God says some sin is a sin and some sin leads to death. Some people don't know what they're doing unintentionally. Like some people mentally challenge. They don't know if they're doing right or wrong. But it's not now the Lord done brought it to your attention through somebody and gave you the word of the Lord. And you know these are sins. And you now you know what is right or wrong. But you still choose to be in sin. That's why he said they have no excuses for their sin. He who hates me hates my father also. If I have not done among them the works which no one else did, they would have no sin. But now they have seen and also hated both me and my father. But this happened that they, that the word might be fulfilled, which is written in their in their in their law, in their law, they hated me without a call, without a cause. And this is what the Lord said he had died for all sin. And they hated Jesus Christ. What, why they hated him back then? The religion, the religion, the religious folks and the paganists and the Pharisees. You know why they hated him? Because he spoke the truth. He was telling people about the kingdom of God. Hey, you ain't no slave. Get away from that sin. Let me, let me, let me tell you about our Father who who created you, and his son, he gave his son Jesus Christ who died for our sins. Let me know. Let me tell you how, how you can be. You can have all this faith, and all these things come from you. Uh, come for me <coughs> with the Father sent me and gave the Holy Spirit. Try to tell everybody about everything with the Lord of the Lord. Follow the commands. Get away from sin and you will have the power over Satan. And know you're free. 
Then what God say? I told you the Lord said people going just going back to slavery. Y'all say they doing the slavery stuff. Going back to the Old Testament. But the only way you're going to be seen is uh, free is in freeing the Lord. Freedom. Have a power over Satan. Your faith. Everything. Just like he was at, at Moses. Okay, so, uh, okay, let's go to this. But when the helper comes, who has sinned to you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth, who proceeds from the Father, he will testify of me. And you also will bear witness because you have been with me from the beginning. Have faith. These things I have spoken to you that you should not be made to stumble. They will put you out of the synagogues. He said they'll put you out of the synagogue. Let me tell you, why half of these church people in the church, why they put you out of the church? You see, I've seen some pastors, I've just seen on there, some pastors will come in these people's church and they didn't know the pastors <coughs> was going to say what they're going to say. Speak the truth of the Lord and correct them. They'll put them out. Or cause, even like what the Lord say on um, Facebook and stuff, Excuse me, y'all. Them Jezebel spirits and stuff. The Lord will send somebody in there to correct them. The whole team will start going again. Don't talk about my past. Don't do this. this, this. Yeah. When the Lord said they'll put you out of the synagogue. They don't want the truth. He said they will put you out of the synagogues. Yes, the time is coming that whoever kills you will think that he offered good service. And also, the Lord brought to me about this. Remember they were putting out, clothing out some of the people that were giving to church? If you don't get this, you can't preach the word of the Lord. Or some of them churches, if you ain't get this or show this cord, you can't come hear the word of the Lord. Satan. How do you feel like you got to have this and have faith in this, which is uh, connected to Satan, that he have authority only to hear the word of the Lord and the Lord can speak to you right in your own home, wherever you go, the Lord is with you. Holy Spirit. Putting you out. You, I, ain't even want, I don't want to even go to that church anyway if I got to receive that. Because you ain't here in front of the word of the Lord. Because now you're putting your faith in this. And I got to have this to give the word of the Lord. And the Lord Jesus Christ giving the word for free. With nothing. I didn't have to take anything to receive. Just uh, uh, remove myself from the sins. To know that I'm free. That who our king is in the kingdom. To know that I'm free from slavery, mentality, slave from sin. Y'all, it just shows so much. He said, hey, you put you out of the synagogues. Yes, the time is coming to whoever kills you would think that he offer good, offers God's service. And these things they will do to you because they have not known the Father nor me. Because different religions. They'll put you, they'll kill you thinking they're doing God's service. From who, that's why God said, who you hear from? That's why God said, they're going to have, they starting off slow. All the false doctrine and stuff. Mindset. That's why you got to have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with the Lord. That was like, it ain't about religion. It's about a relationship with the Father. The Most High and the Son, Jesus Christ, which are one, and have the Holy Spirit. He said, but these things I have told you, Excuse me. And these things they will do to you because they not have not known the Father nor me. But these things I have told you that when it when the time comes, you may remember that I told you of them. And these things I did not say to you at the beginning because I was with you. So the Lord, He gonna still say and remember. He gonna bring it to you. Remember. Remember how they gonna persecute you. Remember I told you this gonna happen. Holy Spirit gonna talk to you. Remember I told you. He said I was there for you with the be not from the beginning, but also with you now. Look what spirit this is now. Look at the discernment. This, did I tell you this? This is what the Lord going to teach you was false doctrines, false teachers, false leaders, the Holy Spirit. What to do. That's why you have to be able with obedience. You got to have faith in the Lord to do obedience. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Because also Satan to come against your mindset, what do he do? Manipulation. Manipulation is a sign of witchcraft. That's what they all been doing on this stuff. Satan, sources, my manipulation, Ma Manipulation. Manipulation, sign of witchcraft. Relationships. Jezebel. Everything come against your mindset. And it come terrorize your mindset you let in. No, wipe away. Want to wipe away Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ.
The most high son, Jesus Christ. So the Lord gave me that. John 15. And the Lord told me, uh, we shouldn't have faith in no man but the Lord. Putting your faith in men, they will control your belief system. This is why we get hurt, disappointed, deceived, misled, and etc. Many people put their faith in their pastor, spouse, things, money, and etc. People don't and never take out time to know God for themselves. The ones that people don't take out time to know the Lord for themselves. They just want to hear what somebody say. They go on their word. The move you know, I mean, the more you know about God, the bigger your faith becomes. People look at, uh, <coughs> they look at for security and everything else except God. Look at security and everything else. And God is our security. He's going to protect us. He has everything. As soon as that past and everything fail, uh, everything else will fall except God. God said everything will pass away. The only thing what's going to last is his word. It's going to be him, the son, Jesus Christ, and the word. Holy Spirit. The word of God. He said the earth and everything will fade away, but his word will stand. And that's what the Lord told me. Some people, trust, they trust in miracles. And they suddenly, and as soon as the Lord don't give a miracle, they trust God. They, they don't have faith in the Lord. Because that's what God said.